ఫర్ మోర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ద సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ అండ్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అప్డేట్స్ ప్లీజ్ విజిట్ మై వెబ్సైట్ సివిల్ బేసిక్స్ వన్ టూ త్రీ డాట్ కామ్ గో టు టైప్ సివిల్ బేసిక్స్ వన్ టూ త్రీ డాట్ కామ్ ఇన్ గూగుల్ సో దట్ మై వెబ్సైట్ విల్ బి ఓపెన్ హియర్ లైక్ దిస్ సో విచ్ ఇస్ కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ డీటెయిల్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ద సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ టాపిక్స్ సో ప్లీజ్ ఫాలో మై వెబ్సైట్ సివిల్ బేసిక్స్ వన్ టూ త్రీ డాట్ కామ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ అనాలిసిస్ అండ్ డిజైనింగ్ ఆఫ్ హెచ్ షేప్ ఈ రెగ్యులర్ జీ ప్లస్ ఫైవ్ బిల్డింగ్ స్ట్రక్చరల్ మోడల్ బై యూజింగ్ స్టాట్ ప్రో విఐటీ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ సో ఐ వాజ్ ఆల్రెడీ డన్ ద మోడలింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ ఐ వాజ్ అప్లై ద లోడ్ కేసెస్ ఫర్ దట్ రెస్పెక్టెడ్ హెచ్ షేప్ బిల్డింగ్ విచ్ ఈస్ కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ నైన్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ద బేస్ ఇన్ ఎక్స్ డైరెక్షన్ కండిషన్ సిస్టమ్ అగైన్ ఇట్ విల్ బి కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ నైన్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ద బేస్ ఇన్ వై డైరెక్షన్ కండిషన్ సిస్టమ్ సో ఇనిషియల్ ఐ విల్ షో ఇ ద మోడల్ విచ్ ఐ వాజ్ డన్ బై యూజింగ్ స్టాట్ ప్రో విఐటీ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ so click on the start pro vi ti software so this is my building model so it for this respective structure i was considered 0.46 cross 0.46 is the column size and beam size is 0.46 cross 0.35 and plate thickness i was taken as 150 mm okay now i will show you this respected model in 3d rendering view option click on the 3d rendering view option so now you can see this is my uh, final 3d rendering view option for the respected h shape structure okay so now uh, i will show you the load cases which i was applied for this respected structure so for this building i was taken the load cases which is comes under the seismic loading condition system wind loading condition system dead loading condition system and live loading condition system and the load combination related to that respected loads now we have to do the analysis and uh, option for this respected uh, results go to click on analysis and print add your no print close option go to analyze option click on run analysis option save option okay so that it will check for the zero errors as per the considerations of your respected building model so now we can see here my model is checking for the zero errors if you done perfectly for the respected considerations of the beam size column size and load cases it will show you the zero errors otherwise you, you have to uh, repeat the modeling process for the respected property as per your consideration now we can see here here my model is obtained with zero errors go to post processing mode option click on done option this is the deflection of the building structure due to the presence of the dead loading and live loading condition system so again i will show you the deflection diagram for the dead load this is the dead load deflection diagram so again in the same process i am selecting the f5 value which is nothing but the shear force diagram so this is the shear force diagram again i am selecting mz value this is the bending moment diagram for the respective structure again i am selecting plate pressure apply your stress type is absolute click on apply click on okay this is the bending moment diagram for the respected building structure under consideration now we have to design the building structure after the analysis process so for that we have to click on the modeling option click on the designing option so from this uh, considerations of the steel uh, concrete timber aluminum we need to select the concrete so from this we need to select the is codal provision initially just i am selecting here as is 456 2000 code so firstly uh, before designing process of the uh, g plus 5 irregular structure of h shape initially we need to define the parameters which is related to the grade of the concrete grade of the steel as well as the maximum diameter of the bar and minimum diameter of the bar so for that just i am selecting select to parameters initially so firstly i am deselecting all the parameters from these parameters initially i am selecting compressive strength yield strength yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum in maximum secondary click on okay option select the defined parameters option so here we have to enter the value of the compressive strength value jo just i am considering here as uh, m30 grade concrete provision click on add f5 main section just i am taking here as 415 normal grade section so click on add option again i am selecting section reinforcement which is also consisting of 415 grade provision only fe 415 grade 415300 click on add option again i am selecting maximum main which is of 16 mm diameter click on add option maximum secondary which is related to the 12 mm diameter click on add option close option so select the comments option here and select the design beam click on add design column click on add select the design slab element click on add option tick off comment click on add option close option now we have to assign this particular question marks for the building structure so select the fc value by using assign to view assign yes option again in the same process you have to select the fy main by using assign to view assign yes option in the same process i am selecting section reinforcement assign to view assign yes option select the maximum main assign to view assign yes option select the maximum secondary assign to view option assign yes option select the uh, maximum secondary again it was assigned with the second option so we have to delete this maximum secondary delete command with the help of this select the beam go to select option beams parallel to x condition system again you have to select the beams parallel to z direction condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes option select the design column option go to select beams parallel to 
by condition system click on assign to selected beams assign yes select a design element by using assign to view assign yes option now we have to analyze analyze this respective structure go to analysis and print add your no print close option go to analyze option run analysis option click on save option so again we have to check for the zero errors for this respected building uh, section under considerations of your design parameter now we can see here my model is checking for the zero errors as per the considerations of the designing section now the model is obtained with zero errors go to post to processing mode again again click on the done option deselect the deflection diagram select the beam cursor select this particular beam click on the concrete design so now we can see it will show your respected beam reinforcement design results as per the consideration it is consisting of approximately 7 bars of 10 mm diameter at this respected particular section again it will be consisting of four members of 10 mm diameter at this particular section in the same process at the bottom section it is consisting of four bars of 10 mm diameter bar okay in the same process you can check any one of the beam reinforcement design results for this section okay so again in the same process we have to see the column reinforcement details this time selecting this column click on the concrete design now we can see it is required approximately 28 members of the 12 mm diameter bar okay which is consisting of ac percentage is 1.49 and is requirement is 2984 for the respected m30 grade concrete provision as well as fe 5415 grade steel provision so after designing all the beams and column section we have to see the stat output file so for that click on the stat output file option on the top okay so if you wait for some time it will load the all the beam reinforcement details column reinforcement details as well as your respective slab reinforcement details for the respected consideration as per is 456 2000 code now you can see here it was loaded with 1500 pages it will be consisting of all detailed calculations of beam reinforcement design results column reinforcement de design results again it will be consisting of your respected plate reinforcement design results for the structure so after designing the beam section column section as well as the slab section we need to design the foundation okay for the building structure so for that we have to click on the foundation design option and select the load case which is related to the seismic loading condition wind loading condition dead load live load click on include option click on the run start foundation section so the fixed supports of this particular uh, for this respected h shape irregular building will be directly imported to start foundation software you can able to design the uh, isolated footing design or combined footing as per your consideration for the building so before that firstly we have to select the uh, load cases and factors option for generating the load combination click on the load generation option so here it will be consisting of the code books here like this so from this we need to select the indian standard system click on the generate option so that it will generate the load combination which is comes under the service load combination initially then after that we have to click on the generate load combination for the respected ultimate load combination again it will generate the load combination for the ultimate load combination also so after uh, done with the uh, load combination generation we need to uh, create the job setup for the respected isolated footing so select the job setup option create job option so uh, write the job name just i am selecting a f option isolated footing which is related to the indian code provision as per the considerations of the si system again we have to select the load combination which is involved in this particular section of 101 102 201 202 203 204 click on the create job option so that the isolated footing will be generated on the left hand side here like this click on this option click on this option this is the concrete and rebar option this is the cover and soil type footing and geometry sliding and overturning click on design option directly click on yes option so that it will design the isolated footing design results as per the considerations of 456 2000 codal provision okay you can see it was done with designing of isolated footing design as per IS456-2000 you can select any one of the foundation so it will be consisting of complete detailed calculation part which is related to the isolated footing design results of G plus uh, 5 H shape irregular building structure so this is the starting page this is the geometry this is the details on drawing it will be consisting of all detailed calculation for that respected foundation section here like this okay so this is the GA drawing for this respected structure this is the calculation sheet okay so this is the complete process of analysis and designing of h shape irregular building structure by using stat pro v8 software as per the is 456 2000 codal provision if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you